What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lou Dizzle. Waiting on the UPS man to come right now. Check the tracking. Said my uh, audio control matrix was out for delivery. So, I'm gonna kind of show you guys what everything's set at now. And uh, I'll do the, the install process to the matrix and show you all that. But, uh, like for instance, see my the gain. I'm gonna turn my macro on. Alright, so as you can see now, the gain is turned all the way up. Well, three quarters of the way on my sub amp. And if you go over here to the mids and highs, you'll see that the uh, the gain is all the way up on the high amp. Alright, I'm about to go do something in the car, so I'll be right back to that. Alright, now I'm inside the car. Turn the macro back on so you can see the settings. Um, like if I go into EQ right now, let's see here. How do I work my own deck here? Settings, AV sound. I'll go into EQ, and you'll see, like, I got the highs. The highs are up a lot because it was sounding just too flat before. And then also I'll go to uh, all right. Let's see. Let me go to my card. I'm gonna be doing a review of this head unit too here in the near future for anyone who might be interested in it. It's an all right deck. I like it. You can kind of tell that there's something wrong with it though. Like for instance, the the backlighting on the knob never worked when I got it. And if you see that white part on the top of the screen there, that's not supposed to be there either. Like the left the left light on the CD slot is on, but the right one's not. So I think it was damaged or something when it got shipped to me. Or I don't know. I should have sent it back, but it was already installed and everything. So. Let me turn that down before it starts distorting my voice. Alright, now I'll go into my sound settings here. And what you'll see is that is SLA, source level adjustment. So, I've got that cranked way up also. So, um, you know, it's just a requirement because this head unit doesn't put out very strong RCA voltage. So, like what I'll do is I'm going to turn my sub off right now turn that to off and I'll turn on some music and I'll play it at a loud volume and what you'll see is that after the audio control matrix is installed I don't have to turn my head unit up as loud to get nice loud crystal clear sound out of it so we'll do this we will go to I go to my root folder I really like uh, being able to read off a memory card like a sand disk because uh, you know then I don't have to uh, I don't have to burn CDs and dumb stuff like that so y'all know this song so I'll go ahead and play this like you you'll see how loud I have to turn it up for it to be loud So, as you can see, I had to turn the volume on my head unit up to 45 in order for it to be loud. And what happens is, after I would say level 35 to 38, the signal being sent from the head unit isn't as clean as it should be. You start to distort the signal when uh, you have to turn the head unit up that high to uh, make it loud. And as you can see, just a second ago I showed you all the gains on my amps are cranked all the way up so the negative thing about that is I'm taking the signal from the head unit and I'm overdriving the signal at, at volume 45 and I'm also kinda overdriving the amp re requiring a little bit too much power to come from the amp so 
Uh, just waiting on the UPS guy. I'm going to start tearing stuff apart and um, running my power and my ground and my remote turn on for the uh, and also the RCAs, which they're a little bit too long. You know, I got some six footers right now, but uh, when I get a little bit more money and when I do my video install, uh, I'm going to be buying some three foot shorties so I don't have extra cable because um, here in about a month there'll be a sun visor monitor that goes there a sun visor monitor that goes there and then here where the rear view is there'll be a uh, that's gonna be a TV also and then in the headrest one and two there's gonna be uh, TVs there too so including the one in the dash there's gonna be a total of six TVs in here and I've, I've had five in here before and it looked really nice so uh, we'll be going back to that so alright that's it for this part right now I'm gonna start tearing the car apart and I'll show you guys what I'm doing ladies and gentlemen that's what you've been waiting for <laughs> yeah, oh, car stereo. yeah yeah it's the UPS man oh look at that <laughs> audio control matrix Thank you very much, sir. Been waiting your arrival all day. The big brown truck. Gotta love to see it. All right, here it is. I'll do a little unboxing for it shortly. Right now, I've got my amps all tore apart. Because what I wanted to do was I wanted to put the audio control matrix right uh, behind there and for some reason I thought I had enough room to put something like that under there which I most certainly do not so um, as of right now I had to make some room I had to slide my amp over and uh, yeah so for now everything's all tore apart Mazda this is another example of when you're installing stuff you got crap everywhere so people that don't install don't know what installs look like but uh, I'm gonna stop this real quick and go inside and do an unboxing for y'all alright so I'm gonna do my unboxing of my matrix and uh, some people like to use steak knives saw somebody using a blowtorch that was pretty cool as far as I go I'm more simple just picked up a new tool kit which uh, I'll show you here in a second from Walmart and it came with lots of cool stuff that I need to do my installs and stuff like a drill and all that so yeah I got our trusty little uh, got our trusty box cutter here so without further ado let's see where's the best spot to cut it okay it looks like I'm gonna have to cut it along this edge sorry my camera skills are shaky at best All right, I'm gonna set it down just for a second actually shoot I got a tripod for this thing but oh well I'll just do the best I can oh there we go I got it right in there all right oh gotta go up the sides too kind of hard to do while you're holding the camera there we go alright so da 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 ah oh, shit more tape <laughs> alright man I waited freaking forever for this little baby right here but okay stuck in there somehow there we go there it is audio control matrix the sucker I got it I got it for a good price 160 shipped uh, on eBay brand new and uh, yeah so I'm pretty excited about this looks like it doesn't come with too much Pull the plastic off it. Okay. 
thing. All right, there she is. Audio control matrix. The answer to my low level output problem right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to tearing this car apart more so I can uh, get this sucker in and uh, show you a video of it working its magic.